While you may not be able to take a trip right now, we can start planning for the future in our free time. So here to help make it happen is our friend Gabe Saglier, Senior Editor for Travel Zoo. Gabe, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Hey, Michaela, great to be with you. Now, uh, first and foremost, obviously, we're not trying to encourage anyone to do any sort of travel right now, but what can we do? So, yeah, the, the message from the travel industry is pretty, pretty cohesive. I mean, the idea right now is really to stay at home. Uh, it's very counterintuitive um, to say do not travel at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is, you know, as you can imagine, every day I think we're, we're seeing this pent-up demand building and building. So creatively, people are at minimum looking at what the future would hold. And so mm -hmm. uh, for the second half of 2020, we're seeing interesting uh, sort of rising in bookings for early 2021. Uh, people are at least looking at what some of the options are there. Uh, the industry is, I think, going to be on hold for about another six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. I think June becomes sort of the time when we sort of see that door open. We'll see a lot of deals, a lot of value opportunity for the first half of the summer. I think fall becomes the new summer season for a lot of folks. So I think we're going to be doing a lot of traveling, uh, try to kind of feed that pent up demand uh, late summer into the fall season, and slowly but surely we'll start to see, you know, things get back to normal. Without going into too many logistics, though, Gabe, I mean, obviously the, the travel industry are taking quite a hit right now and is that is that going to impact us right here in Rhode Island as well yeah, well, uh, consider the hotel industry, for example. They're predicting anywhere from 45 to 50 percent loss in jobs uh, on those direct hotel jobs. That's a, a little over 2,200, 2,500 jobs there in the state of Rhode Island. You also have a lot of ancillary jobs, the supply chain uh, folks, the deliveries, the purveyors that are sort of linked to these hotel jobs. So really, we're looking at uh, several thousand more uh, if you look at uh, sort of that ripple effect. You, uh, clearly, we're seeing airlines still reducing capacity from 50 to even 90 percent. Yeah. Uh, a lot of international routes, obviously, way uh, you know, way uh, cut down and, mm -hmm. and on hold. But those airline decisions are really kind of through the end of May. Okay. We heard this week that Disney is now starting to take reservations on both parks and even at their Alani Resort in Hawaii, mm -hmm. starting June first. So I think the industry is really starting to nudge forward now with that June first date. Um, anybody who's got travel plans between now and then, you'll see a lot of flexibility with your airline, with your vacation provider, with your hotels to really uh, tweak those plans plans, cancel them if you have to. We'd rather right. see you postpone, you know, take those credits. Yeah. Uh, but I think that June window is looking pretty good right now. Um, so you mentioned obviously waiting to do any sort of big travel, but what I love is that you guys have some ways to kind of travel or roam from home or even do some virtual travel. Yeah, we're, we're leading into that hashtag, uh, Michaela, uh, Rome from home. Uh, we're putting out a lot of uh, sort of virtual travel inspired options for folks. You know, some of the great hotel, uh, uh, museums around the world, from the Louvre in Paris mm -hmm. uh, to the Vatican Museum there in Vatican City, they're putting a lot of their permanent displays online. Uh, we're sending out links to our members to some of the great national parks across the United States. So if you want to visit, um, you know, uh, any one of your favorite national parks, you can do that virtually now. Is as good as it's going to get at the present moment here in the short term that sort of virtual travel yeah. reality is really kind of what we're doing now uh, it's also a great way to research destinations you're looking to uh, to visit once yeah. we're over this hump uh, in the second half of 2020 and quickly before we let you go when all is said and done and, and eventually you know we're, we're going to move past this once it all ends what does that mean for travel the deep discounts can we expect some good deals in the future yeah, I expect a sort of a travel deals bonanza in the summer season, Michaela. Mm -hmm. um, I think most of the actual traveling will happen in that second half of the summer. D uh, local, regional, drive market destinations will benefit first. We'll see international travel pick up after that. Also, business travel will probably look a little bit differently now that we have mm -hmm. proven that a lot of business can be done virtually. Uh, so business travel might uh, might change. That might mean that first class flights might actually get cheaper in the uh, in the coming uh, months as well. So uh, a lot of changes, but the idea generally is hang tight now, mm -hmm. travel virtually as much as you can, start right. doing some planning, uh, some daydreaming, and uh, then we'll all hit the road together uh, in just a couple of months. Well, thanks for keeping us informed. And Gabe, we are thinking of you and your family, hoping that you'll continue to stay safe. Thanks to you. You bet, Michaela. Thanks very much. Chat soon, Gabe. All right. If you want to review this information and start planning your next getaway, head on over to roadshow.com.